Hello. Hello, and welcome to The Fourth Wall, your weekly film and entertainment show. Let's have a look at what's coming up on tonight's show. That's like, better call Paul. <laughs> so we all do that then? We'll do that, so we do that again. The better call Paul thing. We'll do it one, two, three. Yeah. So you do it, then we'll it's do it. It's going to go horribly wrong. No, it's not. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Hello. Hello, and welcome to The Fourth Wall, your weekly filming and entertainment show. <laughs> So you tripped over filming. <laughs> I thought it was alright. I thought it was alright. Hello. 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 For everyone that knows me, they'll know that I've been working on comics for a good part of 11 years. And with most of those issues, I've done storyboards for every single page. Storyboarding can help you figure out where you'd like the viewer's focus to be. For example, if you'd like someone to look more dominant, you'd film up to show the weaker character underneath and the, high and the stronger character from above, for one example. Like in my head, I'd have some idea what would look good, but when I put it to paper it doesn't look amazing. So lots of times I'd try lots of different angles even before I'd try and put it in the storyboard so I can get the best result for my project. There are some big companies out there that have really big storyboard teams. Even most newer games today are heavily storyboarded. Now the great thing is, you don't have to be an amazing artist to do storyboarding. Just as long as your team and your director knows what you're trying to get across. Now I'm lucky in this fact that I'm directing my own films. I'll art up something and I'll automatically know what I'm aiming for. Whether it be the lighting or the location. Having said that, just because it's on my storyboard doesn't mean I'll necessarily go for that shot. On the day something else might pop up and I might just go for that one instead. In my opinion storyboards is a very rough guideline. In most of my shorts and in all of my films I've done storyboarding. These are all the storyboards I've done so far. Well this has been a little chat about storyboarding, if you would like more information or if you'd like me to do another video, please comment below, please show us a like, send us some love. If you would like to see some of my shorts on my channel, my channel on YouTube is Willie Maxdell, and if you would like to see my comics on DeviantArt, that's Willie Maxdell also. So chat soon guys, bye. You're going to be taking us through storyboarding tonight. No, we've done it now. We're, we're back what? again. We're after the storyboarding bit. Okay. Right, so I can say what I'm going to say now. Yeah, that's what I said. I interrupted what you said. I can get on with it, man. I was. You were the one that's cutting me. Okay. Cutting me. Can, can you say tonight? that again? No. Can you do that, that cutting me a bit again? No. <laughs> that's great. Whoever's editing this one, who's editing this one? Well, it's me, isn't it? Yeah, slow it right down. When he goes cutting me, it's so funny. <laughs> cutting me! <laughs>
<laughs> Just keep doing it, yeah. Keep practicing, so, you get better. So yeah. well, when did you start storyboarding? Was that <clears throat> did that come from the comics or did the comics come first? How, how that? Um, I'd say comics, I guess. I mean, you get used to doing so many um, characters that when you do do it in a, like a speedy environment where you have to do it with the director telling you what they want. You can just sketch it out willy nilly because you've already done all the poses from willy nilly. Willy nilly. <laughs> willy willy nilly. Will, willy does it willy oh, nilly. Fine, what have I said? Willy, willy baggins. <laughs> willy baggins. Uh, no. Where no, there's a will, there's a way. That's right. Well, there's a willy, there's a way. <laughs> You, you spent uh, so, uh, yes. Yeah. Where, where's the show going? Come on, you're done. Yeah, and then boxes. What? Do, how many would you say for a scene? What, what's the average? Because so, I'm guessing every scene we kind of are looking at what ten minutes max on a scene usually. Yeah. Unless it's like one really long. Like, it it, it really one really area. varies on what you're looking for. I mean, when we did that music video, we filled up like. I don't know, loads of boxes on one A4 piece of paper didn't we? Yeah yeah. It was like a good uh, 20 boxes on the A4 piece of paper and it was just to give us the gist of what we want but if you want a more detailed um, you know to pull focus and you want to write on it to say I want this pan here then it, it you know you'll have bigger frames. Okay so it's, it's basically what an A to Z for you to get through the, the yeah, scene that's of the what day? Yeah this video is going to be hopefully to see okay. to give you the general gist or we won't go in too much detail Okay. Okay. Well, we can leave it there. Yeah. Um, so that's that. That's this week's show. Next week's show is going to be you. It's going to be me, and I'm going to take you through camera tracking, 3D camera tracking, and then we're gonna we're gonna probably do what a lot of people don't do. We're gonna start from the beginning. So um, as as with any camera tracking, people don't tell you that the most important thing is your source material. So we can discuss how to make sure you get the right source material for your camera track. Do you get that from like? Pines or something. Well, the source material. Yeah. HP. HP. Okay. Or, or Epson or Canon. Brand. Oh, yeah. Is it okay. is it best to film in 4K? It is good filming in 4K. Your main thing, and it, I'll, I'll discuss it in like great depth when, when I'm kind of like showing you. We'll be back edit. in a minute. Yeah. But um, oh, yeah. for God's sake. <laughs> Motion blur is not your friend. No. When it comes to. But the delete track. key is. Mm. Unless you're doing Birdman, and then motion blur cuts in the scene. Ah, is that yeah, how they did motion, it? Ah, that's how they, that's how they did it. Cheeky I actually, I know this is kind of off track, but I did watch um, Conjuring 2. Yeah, what did you think? And I saw the scene when it goes from the street up into the window and yeah. follows the person and then goes up through the yeah, top of really the room good, into the room. And that one take, I still don't know how they did it. It's that old man who got it's me. It's a though. drone. I'm sure it's got to be how a drone. How does the drone fly, fly through the window? The window's open. There's no, there's no. So the glass is added in post. Yeah, I reckon the glass is and added it's all in post. On a, on a it's a, it's a man yeah. on a stilt. It's a flywire. He's getting lifted it is, up, and then not, he climbs through. It's, it's, it's a crooked old man. It's a crooked old man in a crooked <laughs> house. <laughs> it's an old. It's a midget. Oh, no, you can't <laughs> say does, midget. It's an elf. A vertically challenged. It's a leprechaun. Elf is tall, actually. Elves are tall. Yeah. Especially if they're from middle. No small besides me. Not about back in <laughs> I could do it. I could do it. Yeah. Sam. Sam's quite small. Sam's small. New Sam. He's Bilbo's. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no, he's um, he's um. I actually forgot the main character's name. Frodo. Frodo. He's Frodo's mate. Sam. We're off topic. Yeah, exactly. Quite a star. Shall we cut? Yeah. yeah. Right. If you're watching football. Bye. -bye. <laughs>